From inexplicable behavior to unsettling encounters, these documented moments will leave you questioning the very nature of human existence. Brace yourself for an unsettling exploration into the realms of the unknown as we showcase the most terrifying encounters ever captured on film. These are 20 scary people filmed in real life. Number 20. Face on the Face I'll begin with one that's scary in context. It looked like a normal person until someone got close to it. Now, for the record, I'm not going to show you a lot of people with super freaky faces or conditions per se. I'm showing off people who have a unique or atypical look that can be scary, or at least head-turning in nature. Now, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just going to show you how people can sometimes have different looks. A great example is with the lady that you see in this clip. At first, she looks like a regular woman who's reading the Quran, but as the video likes to point out, as she reads it, a face appears on the top of her forehead. Now, many would likely cite this as the premise for a great horror film, but I'm not going to go that far, especially not by saying how the face only appeared after she began reading the religious text, and so surely this would be a sign that there was something in the woman that was trying to get out after they heard the holy scriptures. Now, I wouldn't stoop that low. Ironically, I can tell you why the face formed. It's because sometimes the human body has unintentional forms that it can take. I'll show you some of them later in this list, but you might notice how if you flex your body in certain ways, it can act atypically. The woman here is clearly crying and thus very stressed out as she's reading the Quran, so her body is tense. That tenseness is shaping her forehead, and it just so happens to be shaped like another face when she does it. Is it a bit freaky? Well, yes. But is it anything other than the body acting in an odd way? No, it's not. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Is Bigfoot a person? Well, that's up for debate. But if it is real, it is one of the most scary, and one kid may have found evidence that Bigfoot is in fact real. In the depths of a forest, an ordinary child embarked on a tranquil walk, oblivious to the extraordinary encounter that awaited him. As he ventured deeper, a figure caught his eye in the distance, and curiosity peaked. He cautiously approached, only to find himself face to face with a creature seemingly plucked from the realm of legends. It looked like a normal person until he got close to it, because it appeared to be an enigmatic creature comparable to Bigfoot. It said that he snapped these photos of himself with the beast, and of course there is debate to be had. Are the images valid? What do you think? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Beauty is only skin deep. Now I'll talk about someone who has a true medical condition that makes her body act in such a way that would scare some people. Sarah Gertz was just 10 years old when she was diagnosed with a rare skin condition that is a part of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, also known as EDS, a connective tissue disorder that inhabits the body's ability to produce collagen. Now if you don't understand what it means, let me explain. Your body needs collagen to keep your skin looking fresh and youthful, so as a result, when Sarah was about 26 years old, she formed wrinkles that made her appear as though she was much older. But here's the wrinkle in the tail. At first, Sarah was aghast at what her body had done to her. Yet, as she grew older, she realized that it shouldn't matter that she has wrinkles all over her body because she's still beautiful. To prove this, she became a model and began a campaign called Love Your Lines that would encourage women to love their imperfections and not try to hide them like the world often tells them to. This is absolutely something to be praised and encouraged. The world today loves to praise the perfect looking man and or woman and whole industries are dedicated to helping people to achieve that look. But that's not how it should be. By the world standards, Sarah should have done whatever it took to fix her disease or to hide it. But she didn't. She embraced it and is now a beacon of hope to those who have similar issues and conditions. To some out there, Sarah's condition would be a nightmare for them as they wouldn't want to look that old. But to her, she sees it as her body and she isn't afraid to show that body off. Number 18. Scales 
Now I'll talk about a truly scary condition that absolutely nobody would want on their body. Evan Fashano from Goshen, Connecticut was born with Harlequin ichthyosis, a genetic disorder that leaves him with scales across his entire body. Yes, as in literal scales that you would likely find on an animal. But it does get worse. The condition that he has takes several forms, and he got the literally worst one. As a result, those scales can become infected and thus wreak havoc upon his body. To combat this, his parent has has to give him a bath twice a day so that he can get all the scales off and thus keep him safe. Now for context, outside of the infection, if he wasn't bathing on a regular basis, these scales would grow faster, get thicker, and even be more harder to remove. That obviously would increase the infection rate and then further put his life at risk. So not only is he enduring his disease, his mother has to be on point as well in order to keep him alive. After bath time, his mother and father covers him in aquaphor in order to moisturize and protect his skin from becoming too dry with a second prescription used for areas of particular concern. Because his skin dries out so quick, Evan is also constantly at risk of dehydration, which can potentially cause seizures and sunstroke. And as you can see from the pictures, he's not typical looking due to his condition. Yet he does endure, which is inspirational in its own right. His story shows that there are diseases out there that can ravage the body in the worst of ways, and we should all feel blessed or lucky that more people don't have such diseases, as that would make the world an even more cruel place to live in. Number 17. The Thing now, not surprisingly, when this creature was caught on camera, people were not exactly sure what to make of it. After all, the quality isn't the best, and the creature has a humanoid shape, but yet does not appear to be a human at all. Then again, don't all videos of this type? Isn't it always the case that these clips have real poor quality and obscure things that are just enough to make you wonder what's going on? Well, as you look at the video, you have to ask what the thing might be. The easiest answer is that this is really a human human, but for some reason, they decided to either move really weirdly, or they know that the camera isn't the best, and so they played to the camera to make itself seem out of this world. Given what humanity is capable of, I wouldn't put it past them. And as for its white appearance, that wouldn't be hard to fake via a white overall suit that you would likely use for beekeeping or hazmat, or just wearing all white clothing. And as for the creepy walk, that wouldn't be hard to fake either. In fact, you'd want to walk as atypically as possible, because that would ensure that you don't raise too much suspicion that it's actually a human being that's being looked at versus a potential monster or alien. And given that this didn't make any bigger news despite being in the United States, I should tell you something. The most important lesson that be had here is don't believe everything that you see. Number 16. Nightcrawlers of Yosemite Park now here's another found footage clip, but with a bit of a twist. Because here, you honestly can't say that the creature looks human, and when that footage began to circulate, the Nightcrawlers of Yosemite Park were born, aka the Fresno Nightcrawler. It all begins with the footage that you're seeing of odd two-legged creatures bounding through an area. More on that later. It looks more convincing than the previous footage I spoke about, but many people seem to agree. Specifically, the people of the area that this creature allegedly resides in. Artists, writers, and crafters, along with fans of the supernatural and the unexplained, have all embraced the Fresno Nightcrawler, creating stories that add to its lore and producing stickers, plush dolls, animations, and a whole lot more. It just goes to show another perfectly accurate side of humanity. If there's something to make money off of, well, they'll take a swing at it. And I don't blame them in this case. Monster sightings do bring in all sorts of people, but where exactly did the legend really begin? Well, for that we go back to 2007, when a Fresnan who identified himself only as Jose would bring surveillance footage of his front lawn to the Univision television station and then paranormal investigator Victor Camacho. Jose was frightened and looking for an explanation. Another video from 2011 captured two white figures with long legs that were walking across Yosemite Lakes Park. And when you see something once, it may just be a trick, but when you have proof of something twice, that's a little more difficult to disprove. And the people of the area are more than fine with not proving it to be false, because why ruin a good thing when you have it going on? Given the uniqueness of the creature, I'll admit that it does raise questions about what's actually going on in Fresno. Number 15. The Side of the Road 
When you're getting ready to learn how to drive, your parents will tell you some specific things on what to do and what not to do. Keep your hands on the wheel, check all of your mirrors, make sure that you pull out slowly from a parking spot, don't speed or drink and drive and so on. But another one that they slip into your memory is don't pick up anyone on the side of the road. Why is that? Because you have no idea who you may be picking up. And sure, it could be a helpless person or even potentially an alien creature that's just walking down the road. The last one was not a reference to anything, but rather a prelude to this entry, as there would be a unique video that was posted to Twitter back in 2021 that highlighted a strange humanoid creature walking on the side of the road. And before you expect me to say that this is a fake, you may want to see it for yourself and then make that judgment call. Because if nothing else, this is somewhat convincing. First, you'll notice how it happens at night, and it's the headlights of the various vehicles that are the things that illuminate the creature. And then once the filmmaker and others in the crew realize what they're seeing, they stop to try and get more light and attention on it. The creature even stops and turns to them at one point before walking away. The video would go viral, and everyone was trying to to understand what they were seeing. Someone even had the brilliant idea to tag NASA on Twitter to see if they would confirm that it was an alien life form. And to my knowledge, they never confirmed it, of course. But this is another video where you just have to wonder, what is it that I'm seeing? Number 14, Vinny O. You ever see something that kind of scars you for life? Something so frightening or weird that you just can't look at it, or just can't look away? Well, we basically have that here with Vinny O. You see, she's someone who is human and identifies as female, but when you look at her, you see that she looks like an alien or at least what humanity has perceived as being the typical form of an alien. And when you ask, well, what did she have to do to get that look? The answer is sadly a lot. She's had actually 100 procedures or more that have been done to her body, and it's cost her a pretty penny to do that. She's even stated that she wanted her genitals removed so that she could be a genderless alien. Now, I'm not really sure what more can be said here outside of I fear for humanity on this one. Now, in context, this is not the worst thing that a human could do to their body, but it's got to be in the top 10 at least. There are people who augment themselves for incredibly vain reasons, but most of the time it's to make themselves quote more beautiful with vinio she went to the extreme side of things and augmented her body so that she wouldn't even look like a human and that's not only wrong but it's kind of insane what happens when she realizes the mistake that she's made well it's not going to be easy or cheap to revert to what she was before it might even be impossible at this point oh yeah even at your lowest points please don't think of going down the path that Vinny did it's probably a lot safer that way. Number 13. The Angel. Now I'll get into something a bit more lighthearted, mainly because I know that this one is fake and it's not actually hard to prove why. When you watch the clip, it begins very basic. You see a street, a young girl going for a walk across it, and the problem is that there are two cars heading her way. The first one slows down to let her pass, and then she goes across, but she doesn't see the second car, nor does the second car see her. As such, it nearly hits her. But then, right before the strike, someone runs in at a high speed and picks her up, rushes her to the other side of the street, and then leaves without another word. The video became popular because people were trying to decide exactly what it was. Was it a superhero or perhaps an angel? And maybe it was even the ghost of the girl's father who was trying to save her from death. Now, obviously, it's a sensational video and one that can get people talking, especially given the quality of it overall compared to some of the others that you've seen. However, it is very clear that it's a fake. First of all, the super speed is only somewhat convincing, and you'll notice how the speedster doesn't rush off, but walks away so that the camera can easily see that he's human. Plus, there are no records of this event ever happening. There were also videos like this that were previously released and tied to PR campaigns. So again, don't believe everything that you see on the internet. It may look pretty awesome, but it doesn't mean that it's real. Number 12. Abby and Brittany Hensel 
Next up, we have a very real story that is very inspirational. This is the tale of Abby and Brittany Hensel, who are perfectly conjoined twins with a very key thing that differentiates them from others. Most conjoined twins are attached to each other in specific ways and basically are two bodies that are fused into one. But with these girls, they have one body more or less and two heads. It's a bit shocking when you see it at first, but make no mistake, they are human and they're good people. In fact, they're so inspirational that they've lived happy lives with one another and society, and they even had a TV show on TLC. Though, given the quality of that network, you just have to wonder if it's really an accomplishment. I'll focus on the ladies. What makes these girls inspirational, though, is that due to having a unique body, they have to be near perfectly in sync in order to do the most basic of things. Long story short, their composition makes it so that one of the heads controls one half of the body. So if one tries to do something without the other's help, it can end very poorly. That's why they've worked hard to do all things that other people can do. The girls have learned to swim, to run, to ride a bicycle, as well as anyone else, and together they even drive a car. What's more, despite their looks and the remarks that they no doubt get from others, the sisters have gone to college, gotten their degree, and then gone on to full-time teaching, and their students simply adore them. Number 11. My Eyes Another quirk that the human body is known to give people is that they can exert it beyond the norms. For one woman named Kim Goodman, she had to do it with her eyes. Kim was out with friends when she accidentally popped one of her eyeballs out when putting on her costume mask. For the record, I don't mean that she popped it fully out of her head because that would be atrocious, but what she can do is force her eyeballs forward to come out of her head and deliver a very horrifying look at people. In 1997, the Guinness World Records would find her, and since then, she has had an unbeaten record. At her maximum, she can extend her eyes 12 millimeters outside of her head. That might not sound like much, but it's enough to give her a look that most people would find terrifying, and she's never afraid to show it off. Number 10. Ramesh Darji the next story is no laughing matter, and it's an even darker side to a story that I told you about previously. Ramesh Darji was just 15 days old when his skin began to peel, only to be replaced with thick black scales. That's right, it's another case of harlequin ichthyosis. But now you're seeing the even more cruel side of this disease. Because unlike the previous entry, his parents didn't know what to do with him once the scales began to form, and as a result, he went from just having scales to basically becoming a stone statue that can barely move at times. His condition is so bad that he's in pain and can barely speak, and can only signal when he's hungry or has to go to the bathroom. It's a truly tragic thing, and something that must be cured so that other young ones don't have to go through it as well. Number 9. Tiamat Legion Medusa now, I'm going to be straight up angry and mean, despite what I said earlier, because I'm tired of people thinking that it's cool to do things like this. Tiamat Legion Medusa was once a man who decided to undergo a change, which in context would have been fine, as we all make changes in our lives, but instead of just getting a fresh haircut or a reasonable tattoo, he decided to become a genderless dragon. Now, that's a thing, and its name is Tiamat Legion Medusa. My dessert is here. Mm. This person spent over $60,000 to become a reptoid, and the results are very clear for all to see. So why am I so angry about this outside of the obvious? It's because that money could have well been spent on something more meaningful or worthwhile. You know, like saving a life. But no, someone wanted to become a genderless dragon. What a world we live in. I'll also take a moment to note that that was written for me, and I don't actually believe any of that. I'm perfectly fine with with people being whoever they want to be. Number 8. Stretch Armstrong when it comes to Gary Turner, his superpower is that he's incredibly stretchy. But unlike Stretch Armstrong, Mr. Fantastic, or Luffy from One Piece, he can't stretch his limbs a long distance, but he does stretch his skin. His skin can actually stretch on his abdomen an amazing 6.25 inches, which for the record, is a world record. He can also grab the skin on his neck and stretch it across his lower jaw. That's both terrifying, and yet he can do it on a whim. 
Turner is able to stretch his skin to such an extent because of a rare medical condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which I spoke about earlier. As you may remember, it's a disorder of the connective tissues that affects the skin, the ligaments, and the internal organs. However, it's not fatal, it is very visible, and does have side effects. Number 7. Body Modifications have you ever played Cyberpunk 2077 or seen science fiction films where humans will willingly augment themselves with technology to look a certain way or be able to do certain things? Well, that's tame compared to this next person. Rolf Buckholz has more than 516 body mods, and as you can see from these pictures, he's absolutely terrifying to look at for more reasons than one. He claims that he did it for himself, but I honestly have to wonder if that's the case. Why someone would want to put themselves through all of that is horrifying enough, but when you look at the results, it's kind of off-putting. Yes, it's your body, but aren't you supposed to treat it like a temple? Number 6. Carlos Haffy Rodriguez Carlos Rodriguez has made some rather unsavory choices in his life. This time, he decided to steal a car while he was high and he didn't wear a seatbelt. So, when he then got into a car accident, he would be sent flying through the windshield. It is, in most cases, a fatal accident, but in this one, his fate may have been worse than actual death. That's because he lived from the incident, but it did cost much of his skull and brain, which had to be removed in order to save his life. That also meant that there was going to be many challenges for him going forward, not the least of which was the shape of his head. He can speak, but not as well as he did before, and now he he tries to teach children not to drink and drive or do drugs and drive because his look is the result of what you may end up with. Number 5. Yu Jinwan if you take a look at your head and touch your hair, look at your arms or legs and see how much hair you have on them, the level of hair on your body is going to depend on who you are, your genetics, your nationality, and more. But for several people out there, including China's Yu Jinwan, they have a much higher level of hair due to a rare condition. Specifically, he has a condition that covers a whopping 96% of his body. It was prevalent very early on in his life when he had hair growing out of his ears, and that's when he was just two years old. Fast forward to him in his adult life, and you can see the effects that it has on his body and his looks. He has to get special laser treatments in order to prevent the hair from clogging up his ears, along with other body parts. Number 4. Tree Man Abdul Bajandar is known in India as the Tree Man. He suffers from a genetic condition that is known as Tree Man Syndrome, hence the nickname. But what does this disease actually do? Well, simply put, it causes growth on his hands that resembles tree bark, and they can grow to be several inches in length. While you may think that it's just a cosmetic condition, it is much scarier than that. These growths are painful, and he's had dozens of surgeries to try and remove them, but nothing seems to do it. It was so bad that he actually asked doctors to amputate his hands so that he could be free from the burden of his condition. And if you think about that, he was in such pain that he would rather lose his limbs than to deal with the condition anymore. Number 3. The Black Alien Anthony Lofredo was like a certain lady on this list when he decided that he wanted to have body modifications done in order to make him look like an alien. Specifically, he wanted to become a black alien, whatever that phrase is meant to mean. Now, his looks are frightening, and it's probably not something that the typical person would want to do. And to complete the look, he felt that it would be a good idea to actually amputate one of his legs. Number 2. The Growth Going back to people with real problems, there was once a man named Jose Mestre who had a terrible ordeal to undergo. In his case, he had a 12-pound tumor that covered his face, so much so that you could barely tell that he had a face at all. Mestre was born with this tumor, and it had begun growing uncontrollably at the age of 14. Doctors in Portugal, where he lived, felt that there was nothing they could do for him, which in this case is a fair assumption given the size. However, then someone watched Discovery Health and they found a surgeon in Chicago in the United States who would be able to help him. Thankfully, three months and three surgeries later, and Jose had his face back and the promise that it would never return again. Number 1. Dobby or Bobby 
Finally, there's a funny little story of a camera spotting an elf in the driveway of a home doing a funny dance and dancing for all to see. When people saw the video, it did get a lot of attention. Even Inside Edition got in on the action and tried to figure out the truth. As they would figure out, it wasn't so much of an elf as it was a young child who lived at the house. Though he wouldn't admit it, when he wore a certain article of clothing and did the dance and movement, it looked like a near-perfect match. So you decide, was it actually the child, or did Dobby from Harry Potter appear in the real world? That's all from the realm of people who have atypical looks or appearances. Were you shocked by the people that I revealed here today? And which ones did you think had the scariest looks or conditions on their bodies? Do you consider yourself relieved that you don't have to deal with such things? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.